What's up everyone, my name is Fortas, welcome back for some more sim racing. Today we are on Automobilista and uh, yeah, today I wanted to talk a little bit about the latest uh, update for Automobilista, the 1.4 update. This is actually gonna be the second to last update, so uh, the sim is uh, almost near its f final state and uh, yeah, it, uh, the 1.4 update had a lot of interesting little things, so uh, let's talk about that a little bit. First of all, obviously, there's the content update. Um, there was the new addition of uh, Hockenheim uh, to the sim as part of the Legendary Tracks DLC. So uh, you got Hockenheim in there, which is nice. Personally, I'm not a very huge fan of Hockenheim, but uh, yeah, I know for sure that, that a lot of people will be very happy to see it in the game. Also, it's very nicely done, uh, very um, good looking. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, the same for uh, all other parts of the Legendary Tracks DLC. So, Hockenheim with a lot of layouts actually. Um, got the current layout, the, uh, there's also uh, an 80s and a 70s layout if I'm not mistaken. You got also the national and the short layout. And there's also a rally cross layout coming. So, uh, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to that. and. You're probably gonna see uh, one or two videos on that here on the channel. Then there's also the uh, Formula Ultimate. Again, uh, that was a free update if I'm not mistaken. So also very nice to see a modern Formula 1 car in there. Um, yes, based on the 2017 specs. So uh, yeah, a lot of downforce. Very interesting car to drive. Uh, and yeah, basically a lot of fun and it's free. So. Uh, yeah, very nice work from Reza Studios. So that's the content content side of things. Then there was also another improvement in the 1.4 update. That was the AI. Um, the AI has received a couple of uh, tweaks here and there. And uh, yeah, basically they're much more aware of where you are. And uh, you can also bump up the aggression um, a little bit more. Uh, in my experience I've done some testing with the AI and they are a little bit less hesitant to uh, overtake on the straights because that was uh, kind of a big problem in the past but yeah it's still not quite there um, they can be quite aggressive in the corners but yeah for some reason on the straights they just like to I don't know hang in the draft and 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 they basically don't come out so yeah it's 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 something that uh, needs to be uh, reworked by Reza Studios and they still have one update to do it so um, yeah I hope that uh, the AI will uh, will then be improved so uh, yeah but it's still a lot of fun to uh, race with the AI um, definitely and uh, yeah I really enjoy it but yeah there's some some minor things that can be uh, reworked so that was the content side of things and the AI improvements and there's also another thing that I would like to talk about um, which actually is the most exciting part in uh, the latest update in my opinion and actually not everyone knows about it but uh, it's the custom season tool so yeah the custom season tool uh, basically self-explanatory um, you now you're able to uh, create your custom uh, championships or your custom seasons um, without going uh, into uh, your uh, game files and all that and change everything and uh, uh, yeah now it's 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 basically very easy and user friendly uh, you got a little tool that you can uh, edit your custom championships with but as I said actually not really a lot of people know about it because it wasn't really marketed by uh, Reza Studios and uh, yeah you cannot find it in the um, in the game itself so uh, yeah I'm gonna show you how to launch it so you go to uh, you go to Steam and you go to Automobilista and uh, you click play and then you got uh, yeah, basically a couple of options play Automobilista configuration and all that and now uh, and at the end there's the custom season tool you're gonna click uh, on that and then play and then it will load so uh, yeah you got a little tool here and uh, at first it will check your uh, 
game data there can be a, a, a couple of problems uh, in the beginning I didn't really was able to uh, to launch it because of some mod files that caused some issues and I worked around it by uh, deleting some series folders in the uh, in the Automobilist uh, main folder there uh, yeah and that basically solved it but uh, yeah that's obviously not the best solution but it worked uh, but yeah I lost my mods uh, because of that uh, but yeah I'm gonna have to uh, look into it to see what the real problem was so when you launch it you get this uh, screen here where you got the option to create a new season and if you already have some uh, seasons going on you can choose edit existing seasons um, we're gonna go and create a new season and then you kinda see all the uh, series that are in your Automobilista game uh, with with some mods as well uh, so here are my mods I think yes I lost a lot of mods because I deleted the series uh, files but yeah basically you should see all your content here then uh, obviously you can uh, choose the series where with which you want to run a championship for example uh, we could uh, run a championship with formula retro just click OK uh, and then it's selected and then you're gonna go ahead uh, to calendar where you can uh, basically see all your tracks uh, including all the modded tracks so uh, yeah, got a lot of tracks in here uh, and then you can basically select your calendar um, gonna clear all and for example uh, yeah we're choosing we chose the formula retro so uh, gonna include some uh, retro tracks in there uh, you can also search for example uh, Spielberg got the uh, 1977 Grand Prix layout um, there's also uh, in their logos also has a uh, historic layout if I'm not mistaken here so yeah you can uh, select your cal calendar by doing this and uh, yeah basically uh, I don't think there really is a limit of the of the uh, events that you can hold uh, but yeah and then you can also move them around um, and delete them and all all that kind of stuff so yeah very intuitive very easy to use uh, you got also the search um, bar which is very handy if you have a lot of tracks like me for example um, so yeah that's the calendar uh, tab and then you're gonna go to the scoring tab uh, which is also very interesting um, Basically, uh, here you have uh, the main scoring uh, from the from from the race. You can add uh, positions, you can delete positions, and you can uh, type in the exact number of points uh, you want. For example, uh, 25 or something. Um, so yeah, you can you can do a lot uh, a lot of things with that. So that's the first race. You can also add other heats other races you can go up to three races and uh, yeah, add uh, points to that, positions to that and uh, yeah, you can even uh, give for example uh, the the main race more points than, than, than the sprint race or whatever so yeah a lot of customization a lot of things you can play around with uh, and yeah very neatly done and yeah all very intuitive and there's also another really nice addition here you can also attribute points to the most laps led um, points per lap lead and uh, also attribute points to the fastest lap pole position so yeah it's it's all very nice and uh, yeah you got a lot of uh, customization uh, in the points uh, in the points tab so that was scoring and then uh, also you can attribute rules uh, like for example formation lap limit uh, also the uh, safety car road multi is it called uh, that's basically the sensitivity of uh, the safety car um, yeah previously you could also do that but also obviously in the in the uh, game uh, folder where you have to had to mess around with settings and that would sometimes mess up your game and all but now it's all very nicely done here in uh, the custom season tool then also uh, lead yellow laps 
Random additional yellow laps, minimum yellow laps, uh, closed pits under safety cars, you can uh, check that or uncheck that. Pit closed the length, uh, closed pits penalty type, stop and go, drive through. Uh, longest line is uh, rejoining at the end of the of the safety car line. Uh, so yeah, you basically got a lot, a lot of stuff. Park Fermi allowing lapped cars to pass private qualifying. So really, really a lot of settings you can uh, tweak and tune. And again, yeah, it's very intuitive, very nicely done. Um, and yeah, it's a bit of a shame that it's not really implemented into the game. Um, but yeah, it's uh, yeah, that's just nitpicking. So and the rules, then you go save and uh, yeah, you can uh, name your season and then save it. Is basically saved in, into your documents. So we can save that and then you can see it here. You got your uh, my Formula Retro Championship, and uh, yeah, basically you can choose. Uh, to edit it or to delete it and uh, yeah then you can go into the game which I'm gonna show you now uh, to yeah to select your championship and basically I race uh, with it so now we're in the game and uh, we're gonna select uh, the formula retro so we wanna select that and then uh, go to championship and then you can see uh, my formula retro championship it's in there then you can choose start and then uh, yeah it's basically the same as a regular championship you choose your car and then uh, you can also adjust your game settings uh, yeah, like uh, like you used to and uh, choose the AI the aggression and all that uh, the sessions and length of the sessions and then you can uh, go ahead and play so yeah it's a very nice tool uh, something that is uh, yeah, really needed in my opinion to extend to your single player racing um, experience and yeah obviously it was already in in the game if you kind of messed around with the uh, in-game files and all that but yeah that's not intuitive and uh, yeah not not a lot of fun to to have to mess around with all those things so yeah very nicely done um, kudos to uh, to Reza Studios for uh, adding that into the game really happy about that and uh, yeah that's basically it, that was a short overview of uh, the 1.4 Automobilista update and especially the custom season tool. So thank you for watching, definitely uh, leave a like if you enjoyed and uh, subscribe for more videos on Automobilista and other sim racing content. I'll see you later.